Hi, everyone. My name is Sean Hens, and I'm the chairman for the Special Olympics Athlete Input Council. I'd like to welcome you all to our first Wellness Wednesday check-in. Each week, we'll be checking in with an athlete to see how they're doing and how they're keeping their mind and body strong and healthy during this time. Today, I'm so super excited to introduce our first guest, who is an athlete from Washington County and is also the co-chairman for the Special Olympics Athlete and Book Council. Please welcome Athena McClary. How are you, Athena? I'm good, Sean. How are you? You know, not too bad. Um, it's pretty calm here in Corvallis, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty crazy in Portland. Oh, yes. Um, you know, just about everywhere you go, it's crazy. You know, your community, you're either on the bus line, Max's, going to the stores. It is, it's a madhouse. Yeah. You I know, bet. I people, people are staying home. And are the are the streets pretty empty right now? Um, actually, they've been pretty good. Um, uh, I've been hearing that people that commute to work normally it takes them. I want to say maybe twenty minutes, maybe thirty, and and now it's taking like ten. Oh. And you know, and I think it's lots a lot of it's because people are working from home rather than commuting to work. So that, that's that's good plus yeah that's good yeah um so before i get into it i'm gonna ask you a few questions so how how long have you been participating in special olympics um almost about 30 years wow and during those 30 years what sports do you compete in um i've competed in um let's see uh skiing um track and field swimming bowling um, and basketball and softball. Wow, that's a oh, lot. Sorry, that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, which one? So, out of all the sports that you've done, which one is your favorite one? I think swimming is. I love swimming. Swimming's swimming's my best. Nice. Um, I was really good at track, but um, swimming swimming was my best. Nice. That's a good sport. That's my favorite sport too. Right. Love that sport. Um, and what's what's your favorite thing about Special Olympics? Um, just the aspect of it, you know, athletes get a, uh, they get to have that opportunity to um, not only to do things that they love at their level, but they get to, um, you know, experience a whole new world of just socializing with people on their own level. And even beyond that, which has given them so much confidence to do what they do today. So it's, it's amazing. And you, there's a, so there's a lot going on in our world right now. I like the COVID-19, I know, cause right. it's pretty big in Portland, especially, but um, I just like the moment to check in with you and how, how are you feeling these days? Um, to be honest with you, Sean, anxious, you know, and I'm sure I'm not the only one who's still anxious with this whole thing because when it first started, like, okay, you know, it's, it's not that bad. And then all of a sudden the next day it's just like, oh no. <laughs> and it just keeps yeah. growing and growing and growing. So then now we've come to this and it's just like, it's crazy. But, um, you know, it's, it, it is, it is anxious. It's, it's anxious for me just commuting every day to and from work and all I can think of get me there so I can get done so I can get home five days a week and and, and it's it's it, it, yeah so our entire state is currently sheltering in place and being asked to stay at home as much as possible what has the shelter in the place shelter in place experience been like for you I know that you've been going out to work but what is it like just staying at home and not doing like are you um, doing the usual stuff or are you Staying at well, home actually, you know, I, I pretty much stay home, you know, um, if I go out, um, it's usually right across the street because I have some um, stores across the street from me where I live if I'm needing something, but it's usually, you know, like some projects I um, like to do. Um, like today I planted some flowers. <laughs> um, I went and got some fake flowers. You don't have to water them. So, um, but I also um, take the time to uh, paint because I love art. And that, Sean, is a really good thing to fall back on um, for this whole stay in place thing. You know, it's, it's a great thing to, remind, or to relax your mind and body 
and to just not think about anything, you know? Just, yeah. You're, you're, you're home, you're safe, you know, listen to some music, you know, it, I mean, whatever it is you like to do, I mean, it's, it's a good thing to fall back on, and that's one of the things that I wasn't so worried about being home, because I have my art to fall back on, and it keeps me busy, um, you know, and I, I would go insane if I didn't have it. <laughs> right, and so if you, um, so for people who don't know Athena, you are super good at art, is there any huge projects that you're working on? for your artwork? Um, like I actually just painted some a painting um, just a few nights ago, or, and um, I posted it on Facebook, but I will be willing to share that um, with you, Sean, um, in a picture if you want to like um, share it on the website or whatnot for those to view it. But um, yeah, yes, um, I, I definitely paint when I can. Yes, definitely, yes, please do, um, and then yeah. I'll, I'll make sure that it's posted underneath the video, for sure. All right, sounds good. Yes, yes, so for people who are listening, she is a very, she is amazing at art, like truly amazing. Thanks, Sean. Yeah, I try. <laughs> so just, a, I try. just a huge shout out, gotta check out our artwork. Um, for, so, back to the questions, so for many people who has been really challenging having a really challenging time to get through. Are you feeling stressed or worried about what's going on in the world? I'm stressed, definitely. You know, I'm stressed if it, what happens if I get it, you know, if I'm gonna come out of it. I worry about that because I live by myself, but I also remember, and I'm reminding myself too of this, I have friends and family that are nearby and I know that they would help me um, in this, day of crisis but um you know but the only thing that we can do is take care of ourselves um every day of washing your hands um you, you know constantly you know hey it, it, it's all we can do and um just be cautious of everything and keeping your distance and um also um my thing that's helped me is because I don't have cable TV, thank God. Um, I don't watch the news. The news is a big, um, like, thing that can trigger your anxiety and your stress levels. You know, because you're constantly worrying. Because every anywhere you see or you know you read or whatnot or watch, um, it, it's just it's it's a madhouse. You yeah. know, um, it, it's crazy to just to all these people that are just getting affected by it and whatnot. So just to watch the world like that, it's definitely sad too. Um, but, yeah. yeah, I can totally relate to that because I unfortunately do watch the news every morning. <laughs> right. And, and, you know, hey, if, if it doesn't, you know, I should say if, it, if the news doesn't, um, it triggered your anxiety, or stress, hey, go for it. But I also think it's also important to stay connected with that, but maybe also um, limit your time if you're going to watch the news or whatnot, you know, uh, because as for me, if I keep strolling on my phone with social media, you know, just anything, I'm going to like start worrying. And then it's hard for me to sleep. And I'm like, no, but I've had that. And so I just like, okay, I can't be worrying about that. You know, I, I, um, I, you know, things happen. Yeah. You know? And, um, yeah. So, going going off of that, so, tell us what you've been trying. So, I know that this COVID-19 has been stressful for you and also for others. I mean, me and myself has been, like, so stressful, but oh, can yeah. you tell us, like, what you do? Like, try to, how to keep us, like, a positive attitude um, and trying to stay away from that negativity and the, all the stress levels, like, um, can you get an insight of that? Um, yeah, definitely. So the thing that's helped me, um, is just kind of, um, I, th I tell myself every day is a new day that awaits. And, um, I always look forward to, um, you know, um, the, the sports that we have, you know, in the fall, we, we, you know, and I know a lot of athletes are disappointed not having summer games and whatnot, but I also think of how long have I been in this organization and there's been so many opportunities for us athletes to compete at state or 
I should say. <laughs> regionals comes first. Um, regional in the States and whatnot. And you know, as like Special Olympics isn't going anywhere, it's always going to be there. And this whole COVID-19, yeah, it, it's definitely um, stressful on a lot of us because we look forward to seeing our friends and hanging out with them and saying hi and whatnot. But, you know, I, I tell them, hey, you know, we've been through a lot in our lives and um, this will eventually go away. And that's what I tell myself, too. Um, this will go away, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not next week, but it'll eventually go away and we'll get back to um, maybe somewhat normal. Yeah. <laughs> you <Okay>. know, <laughs> right? That, that's our goal. But um, also um, just being around people that um, can help you get through it, like friends, family, talk to them. You know, um, if you're feeling down about something, reach out to those people. Um, you know, it's definitely helped me too. I reached out to some really good close friends and they've helped me work on some positive um, sides of this whole thing. And, you know, and um, they remind me of, you know, what I do. Um, you know, I know nurses and doctors and people, you know, uh, that are on the front lines of it, but at, me as a janitorial cleaner, I'm on the front lines of it too. And it definitely does. It, it's scary, Sean, but I do what I do for a reason, just like those doctors and nurses and male people, um, grocery clerks, everyone, you know? Yeah. And so, yeah, it's cause I didn't think, I didn't know before this interview that you were still working and that really oh, hit yeah. me yeah yeah um I'm still working um my company is basically having us um focus on sanitation um making sure all those uh you know like doorknob everything that's sanitized you know um and we use a really good cleaner that we uh have um that they provide for us and we wash our hands just like everybody else should be doing um and we keep our distance and um you know that's all we can do um if you're sick please stay home and get better you know um i know there's a lot of other negativity out there that people are being targeted for you know racial stuff and that is so not right you know and i feel bad for those that are being targeted but you know yeah this is sorry this isn't going to help us get any better you know by doing stuff like that it's not but you know yeah well thank you so much for taking the time to interview with me today um it was such an yeah. honor and thank you for what you're doing because um doing the sanitation is just as important um as any it is it is and, it, and it, it can be stressful and overwhelming um not gonna lie um and it's been like that since this whole COVID-19 started and um I uh, pray every day that, um, you know, that this will end and, um, you know, and I know it will and we'll get back to doing what we love soon. So um, my message to the, all the athletes out there, hang in there. You guys are doing awesome. You're awesome. Um, you know, and just keep doing what you're doing, you know, um, and also social distancing is a big main factor. Um, you may want to go hang out with that friend, but, you know, Trust me, uh, good things happen to those who wait. You know, that is, that is, that, that's, that's a really good motto to have. And there's always video chatting. <laughs> yes, that's um, true. Messaging, phone calls, hey, you know, those things we, we, we tend to uh, miss out and, or forget that we have those things, you know. And, you know, it's just, it, it's, it's good to have those. It really yeah. is. And it's such an honor to, uh, um, be able to sit down with you, Sean, and see how well you're doing as well. And um, I know um, you have to be, you know, in the same shoes as everybody else. You know, um, it, it's, it's everywhere. You know, yeah. you, you see more cases, and I mean, and it hit close to home because um, not too far from me, there's a complex that um, has a couple of residents that have COVID-19. Um, people in my work. They've come in somewhat contact with it, but a couple of our sites closed down and we've been affected by it. But nobody in the company has come down with it, knock on wood. <laughs> um, but with us doing a really amazing job and that my, what my company has done for us um, employees, it's amazing. 
um, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Well, that was very inspiring to hear <laughs> what you had to say today. And I think, I think it was really good for any athletes who are watching this right now to hear this because, you know, this is a very, very unfortunate time that we live in. Oh, um, yeah. But just like Athena said, that we will push through this. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, that motto that we have in Special Olympics, you got to be brave in the attempt. Yes. Brave in the attempt of, um, you know, of getting through this. And we can do this and we will do this. So, um, you know. And with that said, that I think that will conclude our Wellness Wednesday check-in. Thank you so much for joining us today, Athena. Thank you, Sean. Yeah. You're welcome. We, we, we appreciate you really for showing up and yeah, doing absolutely. what you're doing. So yeah, thank yeah. you for being inspiration to all of us. Um, and thank you all for tuning in. And I, I hope that you have an amazing day. Stay safe, stay healthy, and don't forget, continue to be brave in the attempt and keep smiling, everyone. And wash your hands too, people. It's very good key. Very good key. Bye. Bye.